In 2012, I started working as a programmer. Back then, learning to code felt like unlocking a cheat code for life. Fast forward to today, an AI can do in seconds what used to take me days. Code debug, even scaffold full apps, all without breaking a sweat or drinking a single coffee. So the question a lot of people are asking, and maybe you're thinking this too, what do software engineers actually do now? And is this still a career worth chasing? Let's talk about it, zero fluff, just the real picture. Coding is just the beginning. Here's the thing most beginner devs don't realize and nobody really tells you early on. You're not getting paid to write code. Fucked. You're getting paid to solve problems. Code is just one of the tools in your toolbox. Back when I started, I thought the job was about knowing all the syntax, all the frameworks and typing really fast in dark mode. Turns out that's like thinking being a chef is just about chopping vegetables. Well, yeah, it's part of it. But the real skill is knowing what you're trying to cook, why, and who is it for. I remember this moment early in my career. We had this feature we needed to build. Looked simple enough, a few input, a little form validation, some backend logic. I crushed the code in like one day. Felt like a champion. Then I demoed it and everyone just stared at me in confusion. Turns out I built exactly the wrong thing. I misunderstood what the product manager meant, didn't double check the user flow and made assumptions that made perfect sense in my head, but not to anyone else. That's when it hit me. Writing the code is the easy part. Figuring out what to build and why, that's the actual job, my friend. AI might write that code faster than I did and that's really, really cool, but it still wouldn't know if it was solving the right problem. What devs actually do all day. Spoiler, it's not what you think. So what does a normal day as a developer look like? First things first, coffee. Maybe a toast if you're feeling fancy. Then you open your laptop. You've got three VS Code windows, 12 Chrome tabs, and one Slack message asking why this feature you didn't even touch is broken now. You try to focus on your daily task. But first, you have to figure out what someone else's messy code is even trying to do. Then you realize the application doesn't return what you thought it did. Then the design changed without anyone telling you. Then you break the staging environment. Then you fix it. Then you forget what you were even building in the first place. Sounds familiar? Here's the reality. Most of being a developer is thinking, googling, debugging and talking. You're making decisions, unblocking teammates, reviewing other people's code, writing documentations, testing edge cases, clarifying requirements, estimating timelines. Oh, and yes, sometimes you get to write code. Here's a story that still makes me cringe a little. One time I spent an entire afternoon tracking down a bug that was breaking a login flow. I checked everything. The front-end, the back-end, the database, the network tab, Stack Overflow, ancient GitHub issues, you name it. Many hours later, it turns out the issue was a single typo in the .env file. One extra space. It broke everything. That's when I learned this job isn't just about code, it's about context. And no AI is going to guess this typo in your environment file. At least not until it's also psychic. And that's why AI won't replace developers. Because this job is way more than converting ideas to syntax. It's context, communication and collaboration. An AI, at least for now, doesn't do context. How AI changes the game and how you win. AI is not coming for your job. It's coming for the boring parts of your job. Setting up boring parts, copying similar UI elements, cleaning up messy code, suggesting more optimized solutions. Yeah, AI eats that for breakfast. But here's the catch. If AI can do the easy parts, you have to level up faster. It's like the floor just got raised. So now you need to climb higher to stand out. And yes, that can feel like pressure. Companies are already expecting more from junior devs. They assume you're using AI tools. They want faster delivery, cleaner code, fewer mistakes. At first, that sounds like bad news, but honestly, it's the best thing that could happen because the lazy devs the ones who just copy paste their way through Stack Overflow or hope ChatGPT builds the whole project for them, they will get left behind. But if you got solid fundamentals, if you understand why your code works, if you can think critically and communicate clearly, you will absolutely thrive in this new landscape. AI doesn't replace good developers. It replaces average ones who stopped growing. And here's the good news. You can use AI as a tool to accelerate your growth. Want to build a feature? ChatGPT can scaffold it. 
Want to refactor messy code? Copilot gives you a solid starting point. Want to experiment or learn something new? Ask the AI and test it instantly. But none of these tools will tell you what the feature should actually do, why the logic should work that way, whether it fits the product's goals, and if it's scalable, secure, or ethical. AI is like a clever junior developer on unlimited Red Bull. Fast, helpful, but kind of clueless without guidance. Think of it this way. Working with AI is like riding an electric bike. You will go faster, but if you don't know how to steer, you will still crash. Speed means nothing without direction. You will still need to think through trade-offs, understand architecture, communicate with humans, catch when the AI is just straight up hallucinating, because it does that a lot, by the way. And look, I've trusted AI too much before. I once asked ChatGPT to write me a fancy regex for validating emails. It looked perfect, so I shipped it. Two days later, support emails started flooding in. Turns out it was blocking every Gmail address. So yeah, AI is smart, but it does make mistakes. Always double check. Now, real talk. You don't need to compete against AI. You need to learn how to work with it. That means master the fundamentals, learn how to write clear prompts, know when to trust the AI and when to double check everything, and most importantly, know how to build real solutions for real people. And if you're still learning, this is where tools like Scrimba comes in. I only recommend this website because they teach you actual dev skills and not just how to copy paste your way through tutorials. If you're interested, check the link in the description. Anyway, foundations wins over shortcuts every single time. So what you can do today to level up. If you're feeling behind, here's what you can do right now to stay ahead. Use ChatGPT or Copilot on your next personal project. Experiment with it. Go back to the basics, functions, loops, data structures, clean code, whatever it is. Start building your stuff, not another weather app, something you care about. Practice explaining what your code does, to who? To a rubber duck. Join a dev community like our Discord server and grow with others and not alone. This isn't about being perfect, it's about showing up with intention. And if you're not from a traditional CS background, good. I've worked with devs who used to be baristas, musicians, delivery drivers, accountants, lawyers, many more. They crushed it. Because success in this field isn't about where you started, it's about how consistent you're willing to be. Why this is still the best job in the world. Let's zoom out for a second. You can wake up, make coffee and toast, open your laptop and build something that reaches thousands or millions of people from anywhere with nothing but your brain, internet connection and a decent text editor. That's not just a cool job, that's leverage, that's freedom, that's insane. You can freelance, work remote, build products, launch side projects, join startups, contribute to open source or create indie tools that solve weirdly specific problems only you understand. And in a world where AI is automating the boring stuff, you get to do more of the creative, strategic, human stuff. You're not just moving things around on a screen or writing syntax that looks smart, you're solving real problems. You're building the future. Sometimes one tiny step at a time. That's the only thing you need. That's what makes this job so powerful. It scales with your skills, it grows with your curiosity. And believe me, it gets more exciting the better you get at it. Sure, the bar is higher now, but if you're willing to learn, to think deeply, to adapt and keep showing up, you will be unstoppable. And if you have this mentality, then it is time to join our Discord server where hundreds of like-minded people hang out and help each other every day. Because after all, we are in this together. So here's the deal. What do software engineers actually do? A lot more than just write code. We solve problems, talk to humans, deal with chaos and bring structure to messes. Is AI changing the game? A hundred thousand percent. It's raising the bar, but it's also raising the floor. And if you got solid fundamentals, you will rise with it. Is this still a career worth chasing? A thousand percent, yes. And honestly, it might be more valuable now than ever. If you're learning to code or thinking about giving up, just remember. You don't have to know everything. You just have to keep going. Now, drop a comment below and let me know what part of Deaf Life surprised you the most so far. Or if you're new, what's the biggest thing you're unsure about? And hey, if this gave you some clarity or motivation, hit like, smash subscribe, and check out Scrimpa if you're serious about leveling up. Thanks for watching. I'm Pete, and I'll see you on the next one.